Al-Masih ibn Maryam, Prophet ﷺ said, will descend and appear at the white minaret east of Damascus or Jordan, meaning Palestine those days. Those days meant Palestine. With his hands on top of wings of two angels, when he drops his head, uh, water sprinkles off his hair, and when he lifts his head, pearl-like droplets scatter from his hair. They look like pearls. In Bukhari it says, the hour will not come until the Messiah, son of Mary, will come. He will break the cross and kill the pig and fill the world with justice just as it was filled with oppression. When Isa salam emerges and the Dajjal arrives, the fight will happen at Jerusalem with Al-Mahdi leading the army of the believers. The Dajjal is called the Antichrist in Islam, the false messiah, the lying messiah. His story is very long. Now, we don't know if a Dajjal is now living. We don't know if the Dajjal is alive since then, whether he's coming out, what's his story. The point is, a false messiah will come out and say, I am the messiah, but he is lying. After that, he will say, I am God. And the people will take him as a God. Now, let's look at the Jew scriptures. They're saying the messiah is coming. It makes sense now that if they follow him, because the Prophet wasallam, he says, the Dajjal will come from the east and with him 70,000 Jews of Asfahan. Now, we don't know if it's the real literally from Asfahan or there, or that they had gone out of uh, Israel and all that and they've become dispersed in the land. They all come back thinking he is the Messiah that they are waiting for. And the majority of his followers will be the Jews, according to our sources. And among them are Christians and Romans and others. And they will be heading towards where? Towards Jerusalem. Now also makes sense if you look at their scriptures, which they say they are going to go back in with the Messiah to rebuild the third temple of Solomon or the third temple, whatever they call it, on Zion. So they'll be coming with their Messiah, which we in our sources is the false Messiah. He is actually the Dajjal because it will show them signs. Allah Subhanahu will give him certain powers that will make them believe that he is a God. They literally believe that he is a God. Allah knows best. A lot of Jews will disagree because they don't worship other gods beside Allah. But something will happen according to our religious sources, which make them believe that at least he's a partner to God. When he enters Jerusalem, he comes to Jerusalem, Isa alayhi salam, the, the, the true Messiah, will be with the Muslims, with the righteous people and the Mahdi. And he will say to the Mahdi, open the gate, the gate of Jerusalem. And the gate will be opened and the Dajjal, the Antichrist, will be waiting behind the door, thinking that he's going to enter with his followers and his army, accompanied by an army of 70,000 Jews from the east. And he will be dressed, they will be dressed in robes of green color satin. There's two different interpretations. Either they are green colored satin robes, or it means a type of helmet. The Hadith is Sahih Muslim. As soon as the Dajjal sees Isa السلام, when he opens the door of Jerusalem, he runs away and the Hadith says that he starts to melt. I don't know how, but that's the Hadith. We leave it at that. Isa السلام, runs after him and he takes his sword out or whatever weapon he has and he kills the Dajjal. And the Dajjal bleeds and then he lifts the sword or whatever weapon he has and shows the, his army and says, if he was God, Will he bleed? And at that point, a lot of the Christians who are following, thinking he is Jesus the returning, they repent and follow the true Messiah, Isa alayhi salam. And maybe some of the Jews do. I don't know, but I read some interpretations, but only Allah knows, I cannot confirm. The point is, after that, there will be years of peace, justice, goodness, repentance, only Allah knows how long. Al-Mahdi will rule for seven to eight years, meaning he will die within that time. Some hadith said that it will be 10 years for Isa al-Masih, Isa alayhi salam. Allah knows best. So what is it now, brothers and sisters? Right now, we are still in the bead, in, in a string of beads. Which bead are we on right now? That's happening right now. But mark my words, this bead, will open the door to the next beat, the next event that will happen, and then the next event, and the next event.